I love doing hair because I know how it makes people feel when they leave me. When they leave my chair, when they leave my salon, even in Thailand when I just get to do a quick braid on one of my students' hair, I just know how it makes them feel. And it's not necessarily the way they look makes them feel better, but it's the conversation that we have that makes them feel good. I was in Kenya with the Crossroads Kenya team and we were serving with Missions of Hope and our director of missions, um, Lisa Mitchison, was in a meeting with Mary Kamau and I was not supposed to be there. I had other things I needed to do but Lisa said, hey, I need someone to come with me, can you come? And I just happened to be standing there. Her and Mary are having a financial meeting, again, I'm not supposed to be part of this. And she said, listen, like our church has fundraised a bit of extra money for Kenya. How can we utilize this money to help you build your program? Can we build you a new school? Can we help with building homes, playgrounds, whatever it is we can do, like we just want to serve you. And Mary said, for five years we've been wanting to build a beauty school. That's all we've wanted. And we have the space, but we don't have the person basically to come and help do this. And I said, are you kidding me? I can do this? Hello? Oh my gosh. And like we both were kind of like, is this really happening? And Lisa, I looked at Lisa, I was like, did you know this? And she says, I didn't know this. Did you know this? I didn't know this. And I said, I can come help you do that. I've been doing hair for over 10 years at that point. I can absolutely help you do this. And she says, Diana, you didn't tell me you knew how to do hair. I said, well, you didn't tell me you needed a beauty school. So we got to work on our communication skills. The beauty school's now been running for five years. And I built the school originally to, to teach 14 students every term. A term is six months. So roughly 28 students a year would have an education. They, now they have 98 students in the program. They went from 14 to 98. <laughs> it's crazy, I can't even believe it. I learned early on that all you need is a willing heart. When my passion and purpose collided, I knew what my journey was. I knew the path that I was supposed to be on. And the trajectory of that path has led me to help dozens of women now get out of situations that they wouldn't otherwise be in. It's human trafficking, domestic violence, sexual slavery, exploitation. All of these women now have opportunity that they didn't have before. And all it takes is for someone to say yes. I don't have to be a hairdresser, I just happen to be. You could be a chef, you could be a pastor, you could be a teacher, you could be a doctor, you could be a welder, you could be an auto mechanic, it doesn't matter. You can teach someone a skill that provides them with opportunity. Whatever it is you do, you can use to serve others. And all you have to do is go.